Repeatedly in prayer, I find that God works in this pattern where he first invites us to relationship and then calls us to action. We see this in the Gospels when Jesus first invites his apostles to friendship and he teaches them and then sends them out on mission. And I feel that my own vocation story follows the same pattern of relationship to action. This relationship with God began when I was very young. Um, I was born into a Catholic family and attended Catholic grade school. And in each of these environments, I found the opportunity to learn about my faith, to learn the truths of my faith, and to learn how to pray. And so at this time, I tried to respond by being a good kid, by trying not to sin as much as possible. And as I got older and, and entered into high school, I found that response meant that I was spending as much time at church as I could. I was in youth groups and Bible studies, going to Mass as often as possible, and engaging with my faith in a very individual and intellectual kind of way. At the same time, I attended Burbuff Jesuit Preparatory School, which is a Jesuit high school in Indianapolis. And while I was there, I was invited to consider my response to God's relationship in more of an external way. This happened primarily my spring break of my junior year when I had the opportunity to go to El Salvador on what I call a social justice immersion trip. While I was there, I got to know people who had been deeply affected by the civil war in El Salvador, people who were experiencing poverty because of the unjust system that had existed in response. Uh, I got to see the places where St. Oscar Romero lived and worked and died for his faith and uh, seeking to care for those who were marginalized. And likewise, a number of Jesuits who were killed for standing up for the marginalized. When I returned from this trip, returned home to the United States, I was changed. My faith could no longer be something just for me, something just in my head, but it needed to have this response of service, justice, solidarity. And so as I began to try to live these values in my faith life, and as I began to pray more deeply, I sort of felt this first inkling that the Jesuits might be a place where God was calling me. I was not ready to apply when I was in high school, but in order to continue that discernment, I decided to go to Marquette University, a Jesuit university in Milwaukee, to continue my learning, to continue to grow in my relationship with God. While I was there, there were a number of ways in which God deepened his relationship with me through good community of friends, um, involvement in campus ministry, daily prayer, and learning to pray in new ways like imaginative prayer or Lexio Divina. And that faith that was being fostered more deeply also found new ways of expressing itself outwardly. Um, I spent time working and accompanying those who were homeless. Um, I spent time doing research for neighborhood revitalization in Milwaukee. I led retreats and service trips one of the most important moments of me responding to that faith was the opportunity to lead liturgical leadership conferences for high school youth at St. Minard Arch Abbey, a Benedictine monastery in southern Indiana. And while I was there, God used my responding to his love as a way to deepen the relationship. And one episode sticks out in particular. There was one day as I was praying, I was walking down the main sidewalk of the monastery, and I had this moment of clarity or inspiration where I was able to name the deepest desires of my heart. They were a desire for a, a deep prayer life, a desire to live and be in community, a desire to work for justice, and a desire to live in voluntary poverty or simplicity. At the time, as soon as I realized these and was sort of struck by them, I thought the only way to live them was by entering the Jesuits, the religious life. And so all through my, the next year of college, I was discerning, I was attending vocation events, getting in touch with the vocation staff at the Jesuits, and planned to apply and enter following my senior year, but God had other plans. Uh, the summer before my senior year, I realized that those deep desires of my heart could be lived out not only in religious life, but also in the beauty of a, a married vocation. And so I began dating someone who shared those same values as me. It was a wonderful relationship. And so rather than applying to the Jesuits, Following my senior year, I applied to and was accepted to Jesuit Volunteer Corps. With them, I spent a year working in Baltimore, Maryland, at a church accompanying those experiencing homelessness and, and seeking to serve them however I could. And while I was there, I felt this great sense of peace, peace when I was with those on the margins, peace in being able to work and serve through a context of faith, peace with my community um, when I would go home to my Jesuit Volunteer community. And I noticed, uh, a dissonance or an unrest when I spent time with my girlfriend. So as I prayed and reflected, and I realized that 
God was not calling me to the exclusive love that exists in a married relationship, though that too is very beautiful. But for me, he wanted me to live out those desires that he had placed in my heart um, in a different way, in a, a, a loving more broadly, loving through ministry, loving in community. And so with much sadness, my girlfriend and I broke up. I spent some time healing and reflecting and then uh, decided to apply and was eventually accepted to the Jesuits. And now that I'm here, I find that this is a place where my desires can be fulfilled, a place where I can lean into the loving embrace of God, a place where I can respond, can act in response to that relationship. And so it is my hope that as I continue to grow in relationship with God, with the Jesuits, uh, that I will continue to be the hands and feet of God on the world as well.